Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will introduce recursion in chapter 18. Recursion is a very good technique for solving the problems with inherently recursive structures. Recursion is implemented at the method level. A recursive method is the one that invokes itself directly or indirectly. A method M1 invokes itself is a direct recursive call. A method M1 invokes M2 and M2 invokes M1 and this is an indirect recursion. We will use simple examples to demonstrate recursion. After you understand recursion, we will apply recursion to solve real interesting problems. Let us look at the factorial problem it is defined recursively in mathematics as follows. Factorial of n is n times n minus 1's factorial for n is greater than 0. The factorial of 0 is 1. The mathematical notation can be written using a recursive function. Factorial zero is one. Factorial n is n times factorial n minus one for n is greater than zero. The recursive function can be implemented using recursive method. I'm going to click this button, computer factorial, and now you can see this is recursive method factorial. Factorial of n is, if n is zero, returns one. Else returns n times factorial n minus one. So here, factorial is recursively called. So this is a recursive call. In all the recursive method and we always have the best case. It's also known as stopping condition. In this method, n equals to zero, that is the best case. So when n is zero, return one. How is a recursive method executed behind the scene. Let's look at the uh, animation by clicking this animation button. I'm going to uh, start the animation. I hope you will watch this animation at least once to understand how a recursive method is executed. The program starts the execution from the main method and the main method is pushed to the stack. The statement displays a message to prompt the user for input. I'm gonna enter three for this input n. You enter three for variable n. The program invokes factorial n. 
factorial, 3, is invoked and pushed to the stack. The value of n in the main method is passed to factorial. The statement tests if n is equal to 0. It is false since n is 3. The program invokes factorial, 3 minus 1. Factorial, 2, is invoked and pushed to the stack. The statement tests if n is equal to 0. It is false since n is 2. The program invokes factorial, 2 minus 1. Factorial, 1, is invoked and pushed to the stack. The statement tests if n is equal to 0. It is false since n is 1. The program invokes factorial, 1 minus 1. Factorial, 0, is invoked and pushed to the stack. The statement tests if n is equal to 0. It is true since n is 0. The statement returns 1. Factorial, 0, returns 1 and it is removed from the stack. Factorial, 1, is on the top of the stack. The statement returns 1 times 1 from factorial, 1. Factorial, 1, returns 1 and it is removed from the stack. Factorial, 2, is on the top of the stack. The statement returns 2 times 1 from factorial, 2. Factorial, 2, returns 2 and it is removed from the stack. Factorial, 3, is on the top of the stack. The statement returns 3 times 2 from factorial, 3. Factorial, 3, returns 6 and it is removed from the stack. The main method is on the top of the stack. The statement displays the result. The main method is finished and removed from the stack. Now, back to the uh, code for the recursive method. You should focus on the high level logic when writing recursive methods. We will give another example in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next video.